has has she talked about where you guys look at the gate? Yeah, do you look ahead? Do you look at the pin? Do you look at the gate? Okay, so you look at the gate. I'm gonna go really quick down. Where do you look? The gate. Gate. I look out. Okay, you look out. You look out. You look out. Sometimes I try out, but normally the gate. Gate. Okay, where are you? You're gate. About where that foot Okay, so you're out, out past it. Out. Where do you look? Gate. Okay. What we're gonna work, guys, today. Everybody listen up. I don't care where you look. All right, today we are going to use our peripheral vision. Do you know what that is? Yeah. What is it? It's like around your focus. Yeah, just not really the center line outside of that, right? So when you're using your peripheral vision on the starts, listen up, Owen. Are you paying attention? What are we using? Something <laughs> That big word, vision. All right. So I'm only gonna have one of you on each side go because I only want you focused on yourself. I don't want you thinking about racing. So we're gonna use our peripheral vision. So when we, when I point at the gate, where would you look? Uh, yep, out in front of the gate. So here's the advantages to using your peripheral, okay? When you look at the gate, you're looking down at the gate. What do you have to do after the gate drops? Look up. So one moving part, right? Your head. Your head moves, your chest might move, maybe throws you off balance, right? So when you're looking out and you see the gate fall with your peripheral, do you have to move your head? Possibly move your chest? No. Also, another advantage of using your peripheral vision, Cole, is that they say your reaction's actually a little quicker with your peripheral. So when you look down at the gate or you look at the pin, a lot of times what happens is you look down at the gate and when that gate falls, where do you continue to look, Adler? Down. At what? When, once it falls, at the rut, right? When you focus on the rut, what's going to happen? Yeah, you're going to worry about it. You're going to think about it. Usually your legs are going to get loose. You're going to get loose. It's going to make you react. Nothing about that is going to be balanced where when we're using our peripheral vision, we're looking out past the gate. Everything is going to, we're not worried about the ruts. We're focused where we want to go. We're focused ahead. So the power, the mind, the bike, everything's going to follow our eyes and our mentality. And how much of a start is a mentality? A lot, right? So if everything is get to that first turn, we improve our reaction. We're most likely going to be more balanced because we're not worried about the rut. What is going to be a disadvantage of using your peripheral vision? What? You can't give me one, right? Other than a lot of you guys probably aren't very comfortable because what have you always done? Look at the gate. So when somebody throws something new at you, ah, that doesn't work. You know, and how many times when we work this have you really looked out? Yeah, a couple times. Ah, no, I like this, right? But how many, how many starts have you done? <laughs> Thousand? Right? So when you do it once, twice, three, four, five, it's not going to feel great instantly. You're always going to want to go back to what you're more comfortable with. So with that being said, today, tomorrow, next week, we're using our peripheral vision every time we come to the gates. All right? After those few weeks, if we don't like it, we'll go back. All right? So right now, I'm only going to, I'm going to drop one at a time. So you're going to be first gate, Adler, and Owen, you're going to be first gate. Second gate, second gate. So Deegan and Landon. Third gate, Tiger. Greg, third gate. Fourth gate, LJ and Cody. Last gate, fifth gate, Ethan and Cole. All right, so the only thing, I, you're focusing on yourself. You're using your peripheral vision. Obviously, one other thing that I really want you to focus on is gonna be what, Tiger? Staying tight, right? The tighter you are with your legs, the more balanced you're going to be. So you're looking ahead, you're coming out of that gate, you're lifting your legs, you're staying tight, and you're really focused on the center of your body staying centered, right? Your head staying forward. If the bike moves, let it move and let it come back to you. It's always going to find that balance point when you allow it to come back to you. If you react and get away from being balanced, the bike's going to follow that movement, all right? We good? Yes, sir. Start them up.